What's up everybody? Thank you for being here. Welcome back. You're watching yet another Beyblade Dad Theory. So today, we're talking about the future, of course. I've heard of a few bladers calling this the end of Beyblade. With no more shows or manga to support the hungry community, what will be of the show? The fans. And of course, the toy lines. Well, I'm here to argue that it's just getting started. This is the future of Beyblade. So this video is about Beyblades and the future of the sport. To know where it's going, you gotta understand the past. Beyblade has its roots in 1968 in Japan as the ideal toy company. Later partnering with Hasbro, Takura Tommy, they created the first battling tops. Since 1999, it's had many iterations, pretty much bringing us to what we see in America and in Japan with Beyblade Burst releasing in 2015. Beyblade Sparking is the newest season. Since its modest beginnings, Hasbro has been overseen by Takura Tommy, and it still does to this day, where every new season usually signifies a new toy lineup and fresh gimmicks. Granted, this makes most of us excited, and some have even become dependent on this. Let's not mention any names. Now this does bring us back to now, to the future. Because the future is now. We cannot have a 3D printed video without mentioning Hevo, Zanki, Crazy Ares, Pan Lee, and of course the Beyblade Geeks, who have truly made a name for blading because of their stadiums and their generational 3D prints, customizing and modifying Beyblades. I think that maybe launchers are another customizable staple in Beyblading. But now, enter the Bay Stadium. This is by far the best example of love and dedication to the sport. Here we have a perfect example of what we can achieve. A fully working replica of a Bay Stadium, life-sized. This was developed in the USA by Jeremy White. Hey dude, thank you for letting me use this footage. He could actually be found in our Facebook group and our link is in the description below. So what's next? Well, I spoke with him regarding that, and he actually wants to make it available for purchase as a whole unit, as opposed to a 3D printed piece by piece Bay Stadium. As it took him a lot of hard work and time to produce. I'm gonna say that I'm the first in line to get one. If you want more fun and Beyblade related content, do not forget to subscribe and share. That does help me out. And let me know your thoughts. What's the next 3D printed thing that you want to see? Actually, there is 3D printed metal pieces coming out now. And I will try to put that link in the description below as well. That is from Shapeways. And remember, I am not endorsed by anyone. We make these videos to basically inform you of what we find. And as always, thank you for watching. Have fun and let it